Since Andrew is refreshing his interior, I thought this would be a good time to revisit how we go about prepping and spraying and what we use to do it. So first off, you're going to want to wipe everything down with either isopropyl or denatured alcohol. That's going to clean everything, keep you from getting fish eyes, and also dry the part out to the point to where it'll accept the dye. Also, we use a gray scotch Sprite pad just to lightly scuff everything up, give it a little bit of tooth so that the dye bites in. As far as color-wise, we're using Napa Red on the dash pad and all the interior pieces. The carpet, we're using Firethorn Red. That's just our preference. It's a little brighter red. And also the Firethorn Red will be dusted over the red seats to kind of bring them back to life and give them some more color. For any black components in the car, we always use SEM Satin Black. That's a perfect match to the factory color. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, Andrew's gonna show you guys a, a little tip here. Just kind of want to show you you can refresh in your carpet. Look at that. Oh, that's good. You just barely touched it. Yep. Good right there. It just needs like to be that. clean first. Mm -hmm. but. Yeah, it needs to be clean before you do that. But I want you guys to see. I and mean, it may not show up on camera very good, but it absolutely transforms your old carpet on these older parts. Unless you want to completely transform them into a something brighter. We recommend that you use Napa Red on your porno red interior. Down below is Firethorn Red, and up top is Napa Red. Now on camera, this Firethorn Red may look better to you, and you may say, that's what I want. It don't in person. <laughs> it does not in person. These cars have, as they age, they have more of a dark maroon kind of look to them, and I highly recommend you use Napa Red. Trust me, when we're done with this thing, we'll show you guys and I think you'll be impressed. It's what we've always used. Uh, Portello Red, or ever how you pronounce it, works really good. You can go ahead and, and put your red over the top of this and get a paint pen. And just come in and touch all these. That's what we always do. Just touch it right back up and you'll have your white back in here. Guys, this is a quick restoration. We're not, you know, I mean, although he pretty much has blown the interior part for the most part, um, we're not going all, all out. Here's the deal, when you open the door and when you look inside, it's gonna look a lot better. So I just wanted to bring you guys out here and show you that Andrew is on his interior. He's also got new door panels. Uh, I picked up a set from Neo and those will be going in. These door panels are just pretty much shot. Andrew, what's the biggest no-no when it comes to uh, dyeing in an interior or stuff like that? Like, when do you not spray? When it's humid. <laughs> Listen to these words. Like it's almost too late now. Yeah, it's, it's starting to get a little too late now. Especially down south, when it's where it's very humid, do not attempt to spray your interior or any interior panels with interior dye if it is humid. Don't even attempt it. It will turn milky and it will look horrible. It cannot be humid. Now, it can be hot, you know, and during the day, it's typically not that bad, but at night is almost a no-no down south or if it's raining. Just don't even bother. It'll have like a, a chalky kind of look over the top of it. So do not do that. Best tip that I can give you, and the reason why I'm harping on it is because like tonight, right? You're out here, you're thinking everything's good and you're spraying and you're like, this just is not looking right. It, it looks dull, it's kind of chalky. It is humidity, that is the problem. And the reason why this looks like it does is because we scuffed it with gray, uh, gray scotch spray and natured alcohol. I'm just going to go really light on the red just in case it is too humid. Uh -huh. I don't want to waste a bunch of it. I think we're still good on the humidity. Guys, you don't have to be a professional painter. You don't have to really even know what the hell you're doing. Just don't run it and put it on very light. And I promise you this will work. But this is what you want on these cars. If you're trying to kind of match what you already have. If you want to go brighter, you can go brighter. We just recommend you do this. And this stuff dries super quick if you don't know. I'll come back out here and show you guys. Uh, we're only gonna do the dash tonight because there again, humidity's starting to set in. So we'll come back out and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about with this. It's gonna blend in flawlessly and then you can come back in with like a white paint pen and paint all around your registers and everything else. So super simple guys to do your interior.
That shit pops. Yeah, that shit looks way better. I'll probably keep it quick on it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Get the surface off of it and let it roll the turn upside down. That's a pretty show. Yeah. Right there, really. We're gonna let them drain for a couple of hours. And then uh, since the weather's gonna be nice and sunny tomorrow, we're just gonna leave them outside and uh, I'll flip them up uh, probably in the morning whenever I get ready to go to work and flip these things up and let them get some sunlight and they should dry out. Typically it takes anywhere from one to two days for these things to dry, but it's always good if you got time, just make sure that you do let them dry good because they'll rust up. You cannot put them in the car too quick. Um, all the rest of his stuff is up here on the table. Uh, he'll get to that probably starting tomorrow. I got to show you guys this interior, though. Look at the damn difference that this made. I'm just going to pan the camera. Check this out. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Andrew, that looks good. I'm pretty happy with how it works. Yeah, that looks extremely good. And, yeah. So, um, now... I know you're probably sitting there thinking, but the carpet doesn't match the rest of it. It's fine. No, none of these colors ever matched perfectly anyway. I don't know uh, if most people actually know that, but these things were about four or five different colors, different shades. Here's the deal. Most of the stuff's going to be covered up in the carpet and it will darken over time. So this is going to look good. This is what we typically do. I always go with a brighter red on the carpet and then a Napa red up top. Um, like I said, Andrew's got new door panels. So he'll be probably putting those on in the next couple of days. Yeah, we're gonna dust probably a little bit of a trim or satin black on this. And then he's also got some new armrest right here in scarlet red. So that'll be nice. Looking good, Andrew. You're gonna be riding for too long. Yeah, hopefully. Have everything done. Once he gets the interior done, it'll be a different car for him because Look, we all know the exterior can be beautiful, but when you're riding inside and it still feels like it used to before you did all this work, it kind of sucks, right? So um, this will give him an opportunity to get his interior nice again. So catch you guys probably tomorrow with a little more of an update and we'll finish this thing up. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I had to take all of my stuff out and I replaced my three recorders. Oh. They were all busted up really? and stuff on the shock towers. Yeah. Look, we got Berger in the house, baby Berger. Yeah. <laughs> One important note that I want y'all to know is you want your panels to turn white. And here's my theory behind this. When these panels start to turn white like this, they get real thirsty. So if you dry anything out and then apply something on it, over it, then it's going to really soak it in. So at this point, this should soak in pretty nice. But but though we do have andrew spraying so <clears throat> trust me i will have the camera out as he sprays oh no it's gonna be horrible you done broke your seats i'm about to you forgot you had you didn't have your lower seat uh, in. i'm about oh, to oh god andrew excuse you yeah i know it anyway um his interior is looking really good i don't know if i i don't think i brought the camera out here to show you if not we'll look at it uh later but <laughs> yeah i hate to do it i really do but he's done a damn fine job <laughs> I really hate because like normal. I mean, everything that he's doing is, is just because of my teachings, you know, and that's just a fact. But no, nah, seriously, Andrew's done a really, really good job on the interior. And now it has taken him a really long time. Well, I've been working on it two hours a day. Uh, well, actually, let's talk about that. Hours. So you, you couldn't work on it from Texas uh -huh. and you couldn't work on it from Panama City Beach. Right. Uh -uh. So, yeah, I mean, considering that, you're right. Oh. It's only been a couple hours. We're gonna be today. going tomorrow too. And tomorrow, he's going back tomorrow, guys. Tell him that's not what we do here. He needs to get his ass out here and work on this thing. But as long as it's ready before Ford takeover, I won't give him too much crap. Berger, looking good. Berger, you're working on your car too. Yeah. So you got the interior out. Yeah, it's all sprayed. It just got to put it back all in. Yeah, it's looking really good. He showed me some pictures of it earlier. Um, airdrop me some of those pictures, and I'll throw them on the channel okay. in this video. 
work. So um, his is looking really good. He's not going to be at four takeover. No. He's going on his honeymoon. No. So uh, <laughs> just get it close. It'll be all right. All right, guys. Well, he's taping off everything in here. I'll get back with you here shortly. I will show you the seats. I can't remember if I showed you guys or not, but here's Andrew's seats. They turned out phenomenal. Uh, just so there you go. That's what pressure washing can do for your seats. These have not been sprayed or anything. They look good. Um, he's got all of his red sprayed out here. Looks so good. This is Napa red, by the way, guys. And look at that. It pops. It looks really, really nice. Uh, we hooked him up with some new armrest pads here. So yeah, we got him a cup holder console from LMR and got a console here. It's looking good, man. This thing's going to be sweet. We've got everybody out in the yard just playing around, hanging out tonight. Here's the two cars together. You really don't get to see this very often, but uh, we got the Carbon Fox and the Tuxedo Fox together. I think they look awesome. That's what you're going to see at Ford Takeover, guys. So make sure that you're there because it's going to be a blast, and I'd hate for you to miss it. All right, we'll catch back up with you after he sprays some of this stuff. Andrew's going to be out of town for the next couple of days. So instead, we'll finish this video up with an interior reveal for about 60 bucks in interior dye and a couple of new pieces that he needed for his interior. It's gonna completely change the way this thing looks. It's gonna change the way you feel whenever you're riding in your car and your interior is nice and plush and bright again. I'm telling you, that's the biggest thing. You don't see your car's paint while you're riding down the road, but what you do see is the interior and that's gonna make you feel more comfortable. Just wait until the next video when you see the transformation that a little bit of elbow grease and about $60 in interior dye can actually do. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up, and as always, thanks for watching.